Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com and today I'm going to answer the question, does a metal box provide a ground to a receptacle? You see here in my example, I have the electricity's on by the way, right at the moment for this test and I have my red lead from my multimeter hooked to the hot black wire and I have the black lead from my multimeter hooked to the white neutral and I have 120.2 volts now if I take the black lead off of the white neutral and put it on the green grounding pigtail I still have 120.3 volts so I still have my full voltage even though the uh, lead is not connected to the neutral it's connected to the ground instead that shows you that there's a good ground in this box now I want you to notice that back in the back of the box there is a grounding pigtail securely fastened to the metal box so because of that I can take my black lead I can hook my black lead to the metal box it see it's not connected to any wires it's just connected to the metal box and the red lead is connected to the black hot wire and we have 120.9 volts AC so we have excellent voltage whether this lead is connected to the neutral or to the ground or to the box so that shows you we have an excellent ground and that the box is bonded to the grounding system of the house it does work as an excellent ground when the box is properly bonded now let's move over to the second box I have the red lead hooked up to the black hot wire in the second box and I have the black lead hooked up to the neutral and I have hundred and twenty point seven volts AC this is uh, similar to what you're going to find in a house that has the old two-prong receptacles, the ungrounded receptacles, you see. And so this, this is really going to answer the question of does the box provide grounding? So I'm going to take the black lead off of the neutral and I'm going to hook it to the... And notice right now we're getting 5.6 volts. You say, well, why is it getting 5.4 volts? it's because of the electrical interaction between these different items we got we had different wires and there's there's this is a very very good meter and it's very sensitive and it picks up the various interactions between the different wires and the meter and my body and so forth so you got 5.5 volts AC but there's only one lead hooked up see I got one just sitting here in the air and it's got 5.5 so that's why so I'm going to take and I'm going to hook, hook this one to the box. You see, okay, now I got 9.4 volts. So without the lead hooked to the box, I got 5.4. And with the lead hooked to the box, I got 8.4. And it actually does create a little bit of ground, but not nearly enough for a house wire system it wouldn't protect you it wouldn't do any good so running a ground wire to this particular metal box and then to your receptacle will do no good in this instance this is a good test to do though because sometimes in old houses there will be a ground wire going to the back of the metal boxes particularly in kitchen and bathroom circuits of the old houses and if you do this test you'll get uh, close to 120 volts if you have your red lead on the hot wire and your other lead on the metal box you'll get close to 120 volts and it will be grounded because the back of the box sometimes has a ground wire running to it however these wires are in the old houses are 16 or 18 gauge so they're not sufficient for today's code so the answer to does a metal box provide a ground for your electrical wiring is that it depends on whether the metal box is properly bonded to the grounding system of the house a simple test with a multimeter will give you the answer just the metal box alone does provide a tiny bit of grounding 
but it is not enough to protect you in an emergency. I'll put a link in my video description for the Fluke 117 Electrician's Multimeter for ideal grounding pigtails. And I'll put links for the Wego lever nuts in the 2, 3, and 5 connector sizes, as well as for the multi-pack that includes all three sizes and a plastic case as well. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful.